Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we were talking just before the top of the hour about Hillary Clinton's Goldman Sachs problems and, of course, how the bankers engineer the economic disasters of the euro, of the mortgage collapse here in the United States, and how Hillary Clinton is complaining about these economic elites and sounding very populist. At the same time, all three Clintons are meeting at the Goldman Sachs headquarters in Manhattan. Mother Jones pointed out that great hypocrisy and the fact that they have been receiving between a quarter and a half million dollars to their Clinton Foundation. And they ask, can the former Secretary of State cultivate populist credentials while hobnobbing with Goldman Sachs and pocketing money from it and other Wall Street firms? Well, of course she can, because the media is going to cover for her. That's why it is so important for us to have a free press. And one of the things that we can learn, I think, from the Snowden documents is that for the longest time, we had the NSA whistleblowers as well as everything that we were saying uh, opposed by the mainstream media. Finally, one paper, The Guardian, uh, takes uh, these documents and people start to pay attention to it. That's great. We're happy to see that happen. We'll take it. Let's hope that something happens in a positive way with that information, that people don't just become cynical and passive. But uh, I wanted to get comments on uh, bankers. Uh, Minnesota polar bear has been holding on for quite a while. What, what's your comment? Yes, sir. How are you doing today, David? Nice. Doing good. All right, you're doing a fine job being the first Amer or uh, first amendment gunnery sergeant, major general. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, do you mind if I notch an arrow and send it across the balls? Sure, go ahead. What what do you want to say okay. about banks? I think you want to talk about banks, right? Yes, sir, I do. In uh there's going to be a huge chapter 11 bankruptcy hearing heard in New York. Um I do you mind if I mention something that would make a fine guess that would be able to explain it for every American citizen to understand the magnitude of this? Sure, go ahead. We all can get together. His name is John Morris. His website, if you mind, don't mind me giving it out, is saveourfamilysaveourhome.com. Mm -hmm. This right here bankruptcy that will be here or being heard will be the largest one on the planet. So if they... No, who, who's, going, who's going bankrupt in this bankruptcy? Hearing. Okay. Um, this this right here, John Morris. You can go back on the Hagman and Hagman report mm -hmm. and go back through through two Fridays and a Tuesday of him explaining it. He's handing out life preservers so where we can all, everybody, we can all get together and do this to take our country back. Once they're here, um, Chapter Eleven goes through. Why do you think that they're training for the takeover of towns? Because once that Aether Court goes, or that Aether Chapter 11 goes through, this puts out a Tanguska event all across the United States, taking away all of our property rights. This is one of the founding things that this right here country was was built on. Oh, without so a doubt. That's what they're, without a doubt, that's what they're training for. They're, they're looking for an economic collapse, one that I believe that they're engineering. But that is fundamentally what is at the bottom of this, is that they want to own everything. They want this kind of feudalistic society where there's no middle class, where everything is owned by the banks. We've seen this happening for a long time. The International Monetary Fund under Robert McNamara, everybody can uh, criticize them for what they called rent-seeking. They would go into third world countries. They would extend massive amounts of loans to them, not even for things like infrastructure, but just things for like uh, social welfare programs, things that were essentially consumer items. They weren't building any kind of income production. And so they, they gave them these loans. They gave them massive uh, interest rates and massive amounts of loans, bankrupted those uh, countries, and then went in and seized assets. That has been their game plan. It's always been their game plan.
That's essentially the way they created the Federal Reserve. I believe that's exactly what they're doing, and they are training our soldiers, they're training our police for martial law. We've seen it any number of ways, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to take title of this stuff, and they're going to do it by force if necessary. We'll be right back. Taking your calls. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3 Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888. 888- Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. a programmable guy that goes and watches Olympus is Falling and believes all this and really thinks you're a hero. G.I. Joe, great American hero. Yo, Joe. You don't work for Joe. Joe got taken over. The G.I. Joe command base is run by Cobra. Do you understand that? And I use a child analogy to get through to you because that's your main programming template in North America. They're on record with that. That was all Pentagon directed. Do you understand? You work for Cobra. You dress like Cobra. You have the tactics of Cobra. You are Cobra. Hail Cobra. You want to be little boys? Or do you want to really join the Republic? They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a police information officer give us any information. That's a bunch of bull It's all these stupid G.I. Joe movies and stuff where the White House is attacked. The White House is run by Cobra. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. It's run by chaos. It's run by Spectre. Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, extortion. They run little kids. They run the snuff films. They run the drugs. They run it all. And because you act like a bunch of naive chumps, this whole thing's going to come down on us. Very much concerns me, considering that they have all this bulk ammunition, that they're shooting targets of children. 
Would you like to tell me who it is that is doing this? It is the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Oh, thank you for calling. To every police officer in this country, to every FBI agent, to every Secret Service agent, you work for Spectre. You work for Chaos. You work for Cobra. How do they get power? They stage a terror attack using Spectre, using Cobra. Go f*** yourself. Who is Cobra? Arms dealing, drug dealing, money laundering group wearing masks. They wear masks, ladies and gentlemen, because they're the corporate CEOs. And they're manipulating the governments against each other. Cobra runs the Muslims. Cobra runs the CIA. Cobra runs it all. Cobra is real. You can call it whatever you want. Cobra is in control of America. And Cobra says the veterans and the gun owners, they're saying that we're... The bad guys. These people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. That's what Cobra would say. That's what Spectre would say. That's what Goldfinger would say. Because that's who those people are. I am Supreme Cobra Commander. You call your petty bureaucrats, officials, and authorities. You will kneel before Cobra. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Cobra Leader. You pathetic little worm. How dare you call me Mr. Cobra? Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and that's the appropriate clip to run today when we see what Obama's doing with uh, Bergdahl and the Taliban. It's not just there. You know, it, with that, we have people like Jonathan Turley saying that Obama is the president that Richard Nixon always wished he could be. We've got uh, George Will on the right saying uh, that, recalling that Nixon said when the president does it, that means that it's not illegal. Doesn't that sound exactly like Obama? Now, there's also many other places where he does what he wishes, where he changes Obamacare or where he shuts down coal plants. He said when he was running for election the first time, he said, uh, yeah, uh, you know, you can open a coal plant, but it's going to bankrupt you. Why? Because he's going to, by fiat, shut down our energy sources. And this is a story from the New American. Obama's EPA coal plant regulations are, quote, Obamacare for the atmosphere. Now, that's not the New American saying that. That's actually somebody who's an Obama supporter. See, they cheer him on in these dictatorial uh, pronouncements that he has. This is uh, Jason, that's a quote from Jason Marks, uh, the Daily Beast. He said, you can think of the power plant rules as Obamacare for the atmosphere. Numbingly complex in an effort to ensure flexibility and fairness based on a market system likely to transform a key sector of the economy for decades to come. I mean, does that sound like an endorsement? I mean, this guy likes it. He, he says it's numbingly complex. Uh, of course, it's going to be flexible and fair. I, I don't really know how it's fair to increase our power bills by 100% or 200%. I don't know how flexible they are on these rules. I think they're pretty inflexible. Based on a market system, there's no market system here. And likely to transform a key sector of the economy for decades to come. Yeah, I would say that's true. Uh, you know, I want to go back and look at one of the earliest nightly news reports that we had from Alex Jones. This goes back to August of 2011, and he was talking about Obama's energy policies then. Let's see how much has changed. Obama hit struggling Americans with energy rate hikes following Barack Obama's vow to bankrupt the coal power industry. Americans are set to be hit with a wave of utility bill hikes as draconian EPA regulations drive up the cost of energy. So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they're going to be charged a huge sum for all that uh, greenhouse gas that's being emitted. The Obama administration's crusade against coal-fired power plants, which was launched on the back of discredited junk science about hyped global warming threats, has little to do with improving the environment and everything to do with lowering living standards by creating artificial scarcity. The EPA has now listed as harmful carbon dioxide that is part of the life cycle of the planet. 
New EPA rules dictate that utility companies will be forced to spend an initial outlay of $800 million to conform with